Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Gold Zero 10 amp solar charge controller kit. Uh, this is going to allow you to charge a 12 volt battery using your Gold Zero Boulder 50 or Boulder 100 solar panel. Uh, those solar panels are sold separately, but you can find them both here at eTrailer.com using those part numbers that you see on the screen there. Uh, so if you are wanting to use either one of those solar panels to charge your gel, AGM, calcium, flooded lead acid, lithium, titanium oxide, or lithium iron phosphate batteries, uh, this is going to be a great kit for you. Uh, this does include these alligator clips that will quickly connect to your battery terminals. And this is about uh, two feet long here. And then it's got this uh, SAE fitting that will allow us to very easily plug this in to our 15 foot long 12 gauge Goal Zero spade to SAE cable. So that's gonna give us 15 feet uh, of distance so that we can connect our, our battery to our solar panel and make sure that our solar panel's in the sun and we can have our uh, battery vehicle or whatever it is uh, mounted to in the shade where it's gonna be a little bit cooler. So this is then going to connect to our solar charge controller. Uh, you can see there is a positive and a negative on this cable. Might be kind of difficult to make out uh, with my camera, uh, but we then have corresponding slots on our charge controller. So you can see with our sticker there, it's got the battery uh, icon. So we know that's where to hook it up. And then we've got the po uh, positive and negative symbols there, so very easy to just back out those screws a little bit, uh, plug this in place, and then tighten those screws down to have a nice firm connection. And this charge controller is going to then connect to our solar panel. It's got this three foot spade to eight millimeter cable that's gonna connect to your Gold Zero Boulder solar panels. Uh, this is then going to kind of act as the brains of the operation. It's a 10 amp pulse width modulation solar controller uh, that's going to adjust your solar panels output for a nice quick but consistent charge of your battery. It's got an automatic multi-stage charging system that will switch modes de uh, depending on how uh, your battery is charging. So uh, once it gets up to a certain point, it's going to switch to another system so it's not overcharging, uh, causing gas and that sort of thing. So it's gonna help extend your battery's life. It's got safety features that help protect against overcharging, undercharging, uh, reverse polarity, short circuit, and uh, uh, over voltage. And you can see we do have this digital display that's going to monitor your amperage, your voltage, and your battery capacity so that you know what's going on. Very easy to just look at that and uh, tell what's happening with your battery's charging. Uh, this is capable of 10 amps uh, maximum solar array current. Uh, normal input solar array voltage is between 15 and 22 volts. Maximum solar array voltage is 25 volts and the operating temperature is gonna be negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so it will work in a wide range of temperatures for us. Uh, as we can see, the overall width is right about six inches. Our height, going to be approximately four inches and then we're only at about one inch wide so it's not going to take up a whole lot of room it only weighs about a pound uh, they do include this metal mounting bracket to connect to the uh, boulder solar panel and this is uh, does have an ip65 rating so it is going to be weather resistant and dust proof uh, so even if it were uh, caught out in the weather and elements and whatnot, uh, it's gonna hold up really well for you and do a good job making sure that uh, your battery is charging properly and reducing damage, helping to prolong the life of your battery. So if you are wanting to use uh, those Boulder solar panels to charge up your 12 volt battery, uh, this system is going to include everything that you need. Uh, this is the alligator clamp setup. Uh, we do also have one that's a ring terminal uh, setup. It's basically the exact same thing except this cable uh, is swapped out for ring terminal. So if you have a more permanent application, you might want to go with that option. We do also have a 20 amp 
charge controller. Uh, so if you have a larger solar panel, uh, make sure that you're getting the charge controller that's gonna work for you uh, with the, that 20 amp option. So that concludes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.